Hello, we will be looking at word problems using trigonometric ratios. So we will be trying to find sides and angles of right triangles. The first type of angle we'll look at is called the angle of elevation. It is a, an angle made with the horizontal that goes upward. The angle of depression is an angle made with the horizontal that goes downward. And where you're looking is called the line of sight. Now, if you recall from geometry, if you have two parallel lines, alternate ends of your angles are congruent. So what's going to happen in the trig is that our angle of elevation will equal ang our angle of depression. So what should we do? We need to draw a picture, label what we're given, look and see which trig function we would like to use, substitute the values, and solve. Number one, if the distance from the foot of the tower is 20 meters and the angle of elevation is 40, find the height of the tower. So here's your 40 degrees, here's your 20 meters, and the height is here. Now normally we don't usually indicate or put down the units on the problem because it just makes it a little bit crowded. So using opposite and adjacent tangent of 40 is equal to h over 20. So solving you have 20 tan 40 is equal to h. So using our calculator, 20 tan 40 is equal to 16.78 meters. However, that's more precise than the units given, which are whole numbers. So we're going to round that to 17 meters. The angle of depression from the castle, top of the castle to a boat is 25 degrees. If the boat is 50 meters from the base of the bluffs, how high are the bluffs? Okay, so what we have is we have H here again. This is 25 degrees, and this is 50 meters. Now, why do I know that? Because the angle of depression would be 25, and those are alternate interior angles. So tangent of 25 is equal to h over 50. 50 tan h, sorry, 50 tan 25 is equal to h. So if we type our calculator, 50 tan 25. You get 23.31. So the height is approximately 23 meters. Number three, a ramp has an angle of inclination at 20 degrees. It has a vertical height of 1.8. What is L? So in this case, this is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 20 degrees. is equal to 1.8 divided by L. So L sine of 20 degrees is equal to 1.8. Divide by sine of 20 you get L is equal to using our calculator You get L is equal to approximately 5.26. So L is 5.26 meters. Now in this case, we'll round to one decimal point. So L is approximately 5.3 meters. Actually, probably the better rounding would be 5 because the whole number 20 is less precise, but we'll leave it at 5.3 meters. A man flies a kite with 100 feet foot strength. The angle of elevation of the string is 52. How high off the ground is the kite? So again, if you notice, we want to know how high the kite is. Find the height. So sine of 52 degrees is equal to x over 100. So 100 sine of 
52 is equal to x. So we have 100 sine 52 is 78.8. 78.8 is approximately x. So the best answer is 79 units, again, are feet. Feet is approximately x. Number five, from the top of a vertical cliff, 40 meters high, the angle of depression is 34 degrees. How far is the object from the base of the cliff? Okay, so here's our cliff. So your angle of elevation is this angle here, 34. So again, I know by alternate interior angles, this is also 34. Top of a vert, so this is 40 meters high. It says, how far is the object? So the x is here. So tangent 34 degrees is equal to 40 divided by x. So x tan 34 is equal to 40. Divide by tangent of 34. So x is approximately... Fifty nine point three units or meters. So X is approximately fifty nine meters. Number six, a ramp is needed to allow vehicles to climb a two foot wall. The angle of elevation for the vehicles to safely go up must be thirty degrees or less. No. Can this ramp be safely used if all we have is five meters? So this is thirty. This is 2, this is x. So sine 30 is equal to 2 divided by x. So x sine 30 is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 divided by sine 30. Four. So x is equal to 4. So I need a 4-foot ramp. So the answer is yes because 4 is less than 5. So yes, we can use that because 4 is less than 5. Now, looking at bearings. Bearings are angles that are formed with the north-south line. And... Then we go east or west. So notice this time the bearing is going to be defined by starting with the vertical line. So, for example, north, 48 east, as you go north, and then you head east, and the east is to the right. So if I want to draw a bearing that is north, 65 west, I'm going to go north, which is up, and then I'm going to go to the west, which is to the left. Let me get rid of that bearing here, and we'll let's do that in a different color so we can see this. So 65, 45 is halfway, so if I kind of go like this, this would be north and going west, and this is 65 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go southeast, so you go south first. Okay, so let's mark these. So south is down, going to go down, and then east is to the right. So again, a little more than halfway. So again, let's do this in a different color. So we're going to go down and then move 70 degrees out like this. So this is 70 degrees. So that's southeast. Okay, again, let's draw a picture. And we're going to go south and west. So here's my coordinate system, and that is to the east. North is up, south, east is right, west is to the left. Okay, so we want to go south and west. So south is down. I'm going to go down and 
down here and then to the west to my left and that's about a 20 degree angle all right let's do a word problem the word problem is a little more difficult we have to draw two coordinate systems here that's your easiest when you change go direction so i'm going to start a little bit lower a private plane flies 1.3 hours at 110 miles per hour on a barrel of 40 degrees. Then it turns and continues another 1.5 hours at the same speed, but a bearing of 130 degrees. So here's your first drawing that we want to do. And then the other gives us our second. Well, first let's find our distance. So let's do the first drawing and then the second one. Distance is rate times time. So we want to do 110 times 1.3. So 110 times 1.3 is 143. So they will have traveled 143 miles. So drawing a coordinate system here. Um, we're going to go at bearing of 40. The bearing says you start here on the north-south line. And I'm going to go 40 degrees. Okay, let me get that back there. So I'm going to go 40 degrees here. My length is 143 miles. Okay. Now I'm going to take a turn. So in a different color, let's figure our distance. So our distance is same speed, 110 times 1.5. So if I do 110 times 1.5, I get 165. So my this time though my bearing is 130. So you're going to go 90 plus 40 is 130. We have 40 degrees here. And this one should be longer because it's 165 is greater. So let's put 165 down here. And we want to know how far the plane is from the starting point, and we want to know what is its bearing. So this is the how, oh, let's do this in a different color. So this is going to be the how far. Okay, and then the bearing, we have to find this angle here, and then we, we're going to add them together because the bearing for our answer is going to be the whole piece here. So first we have to find the small piece and then we'll add it together. So let's see. If this is 40 by alternate interior angles, that's 40. This is 40. This is 50. So if you notice, the 40 plus 50 is 90. And that gives you a 90 degree angle. So we've got a C here. So we've got A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the easiest way to find that length. 143 squared plus 165 squared is equal to c squared. So let's go ahead and do that math on the calculator. You don't have to do the pieces. You can just get a total amount. 47674. 47674. And we're going to square root both sides. And I get 218.34. Okay. But if you notice, again, because these are whole numbers, so C is approximately 218 miles. Now, to find that angle I've marked, so I want to find this. Let's call this angle B here. So let's see. If I use the original numbers, tangent of B is equal to 165 over 143. That means B is equal to tangent inverse of 165 over 143. Now your bearing, I'm going to write this up here, is equal to the 40 degrees plus angle B, measure of angle B. So if we do tangent inverse, we get 49, approximately 49 degrees. So B See, I'm not sure you guys can see that. So let me write that over to the side. Sorry about that. B is approximately 49 degrees. Again, rounding to a whole number. So we're going to do 40 plus 49, which is 89 degrees. So my bearing is equal to 89 degrees. 
So have fun doing word problems.